let's get gnarly with our Mad Lab Powerhouse phones. Because we've been using our laptops, desktops, and computers way too much lately, we forgot how powerful our phones really are. And these are new features that are out here in 2021 and also at the time that you're watching this in July. I encourage you to check this out because it's summer, so you gotta really try it. Now, let's get gnarly. The first one that we have available to us is iPhone Document Scan. You just basically go to your Notes app and you create a new note. And then in the notes, you can just name it Document Scanning, just like my phone right here. Now on my phone, you will see in between the AA, the check mark, and the pencil, there will be is a camera icon. So I will just press that. And it says, choose photos or videos, take photo or video scan documents. I just press on scan documents. And you see got a dog right here and it will automatically calculate. So if it still hadn't calculated it correctly, just like how you can see on the top right corner, it's not fully there. You just hold it, you drag it, and then you realign it to the corner side. Same with the bottom, same with the side. The only hassle is after you press on keep scan or press on save. If you press on the share icon, you cannot save it as a photo. So then you would have to take a screenshot with your phone and then crop it in. Yay, <laughs> okay. And another thing is that it automatically does exposure for you to just be like a printer. So as you can know, post-it notes are usually yellow. I don't know why it's not yellow on the camera, but it's yellow. But on my phone, as you can see in this screen recording, it's totally white and then if I need to recorrect it I just do the crop feature and then I add more exposure or brightness to the image now that is a cool feature that I know that I used and if teachers are watching this that's how I get those epic pictures of my um, assignments because I don't like running them through the printer unless it's a really important project like um, I don't know, <laughs> then I would run it through the printer, like college papers, something like that. I don't know, but yeah. Number two, Apple now supports up to 32 people on their FaceTime group call. iPhone supports now up to 32 people. Previously, they only allowed up to three people, including yourself. So that means an inclusion of four. But way back then, they would usually just do one-on-one, -on -one, like those one-on-one -on -one talks. That's it. But now, they allow up to 32 people with iOS 14 and above. If it's not iOS 14, then it could be iOS 13 that accepts this. Now, in the upcoming future that you might be watching this video, it could be iOS 15. Which I don't think there had been iOS 15 yet. But... There could be new features going into FaceTime. Apple now accepts note sharing. With note sharing, you're able to see within many people into the group. It's like a messenger group, but you're actually doing it for your workplace, or either you're just doing it with your family for a shopping list or similar to that. Now they could highlight it, and then you, it will just highlight all of the changes available for you. Now while it is in there, you can add shared notes in between people as you read through, as for like a scripture bible a um play huh a shopping list i know i would do it for a shopping list totally and it also works with the reminders and everything else too uh yeah there is note sharing there is reminder sharing there are these new sharing features that have been added which have been here for a long time but it's pretty cool because once you have it there, then you can just do tons of fun collaborations with your cousins, friends, relatives, whether they're in Virginia, California, uh, Nevada, or Oregon, or all scattered around the world. As long as you have a sustainable, updatable connection, which has about like three megabytes upload speed and at least five or higher download speed. Yeah. If you can't tell, I'm filming this in the morning. <laughs> Number four is iPhone widgets. iPhone widgets are really good with what they're coming up with. Now, if your phone is compatible with it, like the iPhone 7 and above, or somewhere around there, it would be pretty nice and great. Now, if you have Robinhood, you can just hold your screen 
press on plus or something like that and add Robinhood in there, like how I have it on my phone, showing Dogecoin, ETC, NASDAQ, Netflix, and Tesla, and so forth. Right now, Dogecoin is at 0.49, but tell me in the future if this becomes a real currency to be used in real life. Possibly because Tesla might be allowing Dogecoin to, which I'm pretty excited. And there also is gonna be a SpaceX rocket, funded by Dogecoin. Yeah. Uh, anyways, hey, well, I, I never talked about that. Place. It's super convenient. It gives you the battery, get with the weather. There's a whole bunch of options, and I know for sure there would be adding more features to it in the future of the feature. Because it's the future of the feature. Why not? <laughs> Argumented reality. Now, Apple is supporting augmented reality with what it has on the iPhone 12 Pro and the iPad Pro, also, and some of the newer and latest iPads within 2021 and 2020. Yeah, because they have a LiDAR sensor, and with that LiDAR sensor, if you know, it's like that spinning thing that goes on a car, or the Wise Roomba, Wise Vacuum, Wise something, it is. So it's basically using is a LiDAR sensor coming from the camera, and also the LiDAR sensor that's using is the imagery sensor, just like the megapixels used in this frame that you are watching right now. Now with augmented reality, Again, it's only available on the iPhone 12 Pro and the iPads that are really the latest. You can play on it, you can learn on it, you can play games, you can use IKEA apps on it. Yeah, IKEA! <laughs> I'm actually pretty excited on that too, and you can also use it for your work. If you are into architecture design, or just like how you see in those past years in those Jerome Furniture commercials, if you're here in SoCal, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool how augmented reality works. And I know that there are these new games coming out um, that would be available for you to actually play with augmented reality. It's like those VR headsets that you actually have, but instead it's like on a big screen or on your small iPhone that's available. Now, you probably forgot about this feature being added, but I didn't because I keep an eye on things. I don't know why my eyes are going crazy. Again, I'm filming this in the morning. Now, augmented reality is supported on the following apps as listed as I look this way. Snapchat, Complete Intomity, iSkate, Warby, Parker's Girl, <laughs> Jig Space, a DSLR camera, Hot Lava, and etc. Now, I will have all of these resources if you want to learn more about it in the description down below. Now, I'm Morgan from Morgan V Films Tech, and give me a favor and check out one of these videos if it brings you to your interest. Because I'm pretty underrated right here. So are my amazing friends. So, go ahead, check it out. Now, I'm Morgan from Morgan V Films Tech. Shaka and mahalo. I'll see you on the next adventure.